Hey everybody, this is Joey from the Average Joe's Movie Club Cast, and I'm going to bring you a special episode of Unboxing with Joey this evening. Um, since today is November 1st and the first day of the Criterion sale at Barnes & Noble, I figured I would uh, show you some of the stuff that myself and my roommate, uh, Nightflyer, who you've probably heard me on the cast mention multiple, multiple times, uh, picked up today. Um, he only got one item, and it will be the big grand finale of what we got here today. So unlike my first two where it was just one item, there'll be multiple items um, that I will uh, present here on this video this evening. So let's get started, shall we? Uh, first item is actually not a Criterion, but I did buy it at Barnes & Noble. This is uh, an Arrow production of uh, Weird Science. It's a still book. Um, so everybody knows this movie, I'm sure. It's a John Hughes movie. It's very famous in the 80s. Um, so, and, you know, I, I love this movie, obviously. And everyone who knows me knows I love steel. So, uh, go ahead and crack into this. And I think this will be our only non-Japanese movie of the evening. So go ahead, get into that. Of course, like most steelbooks, it's got a little flap here that tells you and gives you all the information and all that good stuff. And uh, Arrow likes to tape them down as opposed to use glue. And there you can see the back. We're going to open it up, see if there's anything good inside here. Obviously, you've got your disc. And there's a very famous scene where uh, Michael C. Hall has the bra on his head. And then we're going to come over here. I don't know if I can get the stuff out of the case there. I apologize. Yep, there they have both. So if you take both out you can see both there all right so let's take a look at what is on the inside here as I dropped one of them uh, this is just a advertisement from Arrow but you do have a nice little booklet here I believe um, if my memory serves that's Kelly LeBrock that's not gonna be over there it'll be over here I believe yeah Kelly LeBlock, LeBrock that is correct so we have a table of contents right here Showing you everything that's inside. We're going to have some pictures. So yeah, very 80s. One of the quintessential 80s movies. Obviously with a quintessential 80s director in John Hughes. And we don't have to go through every single one of these pages. But you know, some cool pictures and stills and what have you. So this was a very... was not what I was planning on picking up, but... I saw it and it was one I had been wanting and uh, since it was a region A instead of buying it off the Arrow website which would have been a region B, um, it made me very happy to go ahead and pick up. So go ahead and move on to the next one. Um, this is the Yojimbo and Sandro 2-pack um, from the Criterion Collection. You can see here numbers 52 and 53 respectively um, and this is from obviously Akira Kurosawa, um, which if you've watched the podcast, you know how much that uh, Justin and I both love Mr. Kurosawa. These are actually both blind buys. I have never seen either one of these movies, but have every intention of watching them, um, obviously. Um, I've seen five of Mr. Kurosawa's films at this point, um, with, while absolutely loving three, and while thinking the other two are both really good, um, was not the biggest fans of them. You see, it's got a case to carry them as they, you know, they do go together. Um, so, and a lot of people probably know the American version of Yojimbo is, um, start a very famous actor in Mr. Clint Eastwood. Um, I never remember which order they're in, but it is the dollars, part of the dollars trilogy. And I don't want to embarrass myself. And I probably should have looked that up before I started this, but you can see inside and you've got your disc, probably not going to be anything too fancy behind there. But again, Another booklet to tell you all about Mr. Kurosawa's film. It's probably going to be the exact same thing there. So those two movies go together. Nice little combo piece. Made me real happy. 
And this is the next one is the one that I had planned on getting when I went there to start with. Um, and this was actually my second Kurosawa, I believe, actually. It was not the one I was introduced to, but I do believe it's the one most people are uh, introduced to by him. It's his Magnus Opus, in most people's opinion, Seven Samurai, you know, three hour long spectacle. And it's got great, great packaging. And if somehow you've not seen this movie and you know, you're know you watching this channel about podcasts and different things, then I highly, highly recommend it. Um, you open it up, you've got the movie here, um, you got the second disc, and just a big, nice book for being inside of a movie with all sorts of stuff. And this is just great. Another one that was that, that was just made into um, many, many things, most notably The Magnificent Seven, which I then had a remake not that long ago. And there's been many, many iterations of that as well. So um, you've seen this movie pro probably even if you haven't seen this movie. Um, and just goes to show how, how well Kurosawa um, was renowned for his craft um so and i'll see yeah they've got some scenes here behind there and this is disc two the supplements and then this is going to be disc one so yeah some some scenes there and this this is a movie i do just recommend to everybody if you have not seen it to definitely one thousand percent go see and this is also spy number two on um, the criterion collection um for those that care about such things. Now, this is going to be my big purchase and it'll be the, the co-main event of the evening. Um, and this is this is straight blind, and this is this is a big purchase to be blind. So um and I did not intend to buy this, but it just sort of happened that way. So we'll just we'll just go with it. Um, and that is going to be the Zatoichi set. Um and as you can tell, I have a thing for Japanese cinema. Uh, anybody who watches also knows how much I raved um, last night. If you've seen our newest Halloween special about um, some K cinema, some K horror movies, so uh, Asian cinema in general. So I could not pass up 25 samurai films, um, especially a blind swordsman. So you've got a nice hardback book in the back of this one. Um, and then. So you know, you've got your case here that holds everything. The art on this is tremendous. This is just a one a wonderful box set. It's one of the big, uh, now big four box sets of the Criterion Collection, along with Ingmar Bergman, the uh, Olympic box set, and of course the new one that released today, um, which is uh, Godzilla, obviously also from Japan. And you just look at this, you, you turn the pages, and you've got the Blu-rays in here with just some amazing color work. And you just can go through it and see just how wonderfully and well put together this is. And it tells you everything that you've got. Um, I can't wait to dive into these. Um, and just, just to go through them. Probably spend a good portion of, I would imagine, next year watching blind samurai movies, um, to be a hundred percent honest and it'll be fantastic and I'll love it. Um, so cause I, I bought, um, in the July sale, I bought Lone Wolf and Cub and that was, uh, six movies. I mean, seven when you count the American mashup, um, which I had already seen and you know, everyone knows I love Kill Bill. So of course I love that. Um, and I also have the samurai trilogy, which I've yet to watch and I'm looking forward to that as well. And then we've got this nice, big colorful book hardback um i can only imagine that we've got some great great illustrations and this will probably keep me busy for a while as well all right and now what we all came here for the main event of the evening and i alluded to it just a few minutes ago oh uh, is the man the myth the legend himself it is Godzilla, and this is a beast of a box. I will back up a little bit here. This is huge. It is big. Um, this is the Godzilla box set from the show era 1954 to 1975. 15 kaiju classics. And this is this is a pretty haunting box set. Um, they went about it in a way. I mean, it looks like a very tall book. 
It's very well put together. You can see Godzilla himself right there on the front. It's humongous. Well, let's let's uh let's crack this bad boy open and take a look. Um, I mean, it's been floating around the internet. Some people got it early across seas and different things, but you know, it's one thing to see some pictures. It's another thing to open it up yourself and take a look. And I would like to thank Night Flyer. He bought this earlier today while I was at work and left this here while he went to work to let me crack this open for you guys. So um, do thank him very, very much. Um, it does have a peel off here on the back, um, like most big box sets and nice things do. So there's that, I'm gonna leave that on there and let him handle that. But uh, I'm gonna open it up here and it is just you know a very nice, very colorful picture here with Godzilla rampaging through Tokyo, I'm gonna imagine, and it's a literal book. You can see, going to tell you all sorts of cool stuff. Just and it's a book. And imagine, like, like look how dope this looks. Um, dude, whoever put this together, obviously they took a lot of time and care. I know there was a a lot of uh, controversy over this being Spine One Thousand. Some people thinking that Godzilla wasn't worthy. Um, you know that kind of stuff, but. Um, and I watched the original Godzilla for the first time earlier this year. And my only thought was I could only imagine being in Japan in the cinema watching this and just how freaked out and different things they must have been in that theater watching that. So, like, I, I think this is great. This is a great addition at 1000. Um, and, you know, if, if you disagree, then, you know, you're welcome to that opinion. I'm not going to be mad at you for it. But, you know, the people who enjoy it, let them enjoy it, man. This is this is a really dope box set. And. Hopefully, you know, you enjoy watching watching me stumble through this video. So we're going to kind of skip through that book. That's a really, like, that's a whole book right there. Like, you can feel the spine. Like, that's thick, 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 thick. So now we're going to come over here, flip this open, and it's a whole nother book. And you can just see all the discs here. And they've got them numbered for you. One, two, three, four, and come back. Five, six, seven, eight. So, you know, eight movies eight supplementals so seven movies or seven disc 15 movies it's a really dope box set um it's gonna take up a lot of space um and now he's got three of the big ones um because he's also got zatoichi and uh bergman so um a lot of a lot of, a lot of discs a lot of movies flying around that um he's gonna have to watch and i'll probably get the benefit of watching as well so uh Hopefully you guys enjoyed this, and uh, you know, if you've got any comments or anything, or anything you might um, want to see, um, hopefully I'll have a, you know, if you have any comments or anything, you leave some, leave them down in the comments below, or hit the email that we talk about so much, the Average Joe's Movie Clubcast at gmail.com. Um, hopefully I'll have another unboxing at some point soon. Um, I'll try to keep a movie related, as that is the premise of this channel, but... You know, I do have some other interest, and that may come through. I do have another uh, pretty big movie coming down the pipe soon, hopefully, that I'm going to get. But uh, we'll see if that happens. And if I get that, I will unbox it. Um, and after that, we'll just kind of see what happens. Um, thank you guys so much for being with me tonight while I uh, did all this. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. Um, thanks. Y'all have a good night.